Black Crash to Episode 6 finds Adam and Rebecca Newman feeling the pressures of their opulent lifestyle and callous, self-serving decisions. While Adam is increasingly scrutinized by Wurk investor Benchmark Capital's no-nonsense partner Cameron Lautner, Rebecca delves into a side project to create an education branch of the company. With the threat of losing his position as CEO looking like a distinct possibility, Adam turns to his billionaire enabler Masayoshi's son, affectionately called Masa, of SoftBank, with an audacious deal. This chapter is where the Hulu series finally lives up to its name. The Newmans look at a potential disaster as their questionable spending and earning habits slowly begin to come out in the open. Let's take a closer look at Wekrash to episode 6 and get a handle on everything that is going on. The episode opens with Adam and Rebecca on vacation in California, with the former having skipped a board meeting, while the latter works on a long list of potential companies that can be started under the Wee brand. Adam loves the idea, but his company's board members are skeptical. The real shock comes when Cameron Lautner installs himself at Adam's work head office and begins going through the company's financial records for the last 10 years. When he brings the gross expenditures, which include investments in a wave pool company and a coffee creamer company, to Adam's notice, the CEO merely states that all the transactions were approved by the board. Despite Adam's bravado at the meeting with Cameron, he does begin to fear the kind of scrutiny Wurk's finances will go through as the company prepares to go public. In a last-ditch attempt to retain control of his company and avoid being accountable to anyone else, he approaches Masa and asks the SoftBank CEO to buy out all the other shareholders of Wurk. The plan is called Project Fortitude, and a back-and-forth negotiation between Adam and Masa ensues, with both vying for control of work as part of the agreement. When Adam shows up atrociously late for a meeting with an important SoftBank investor named Al Mubarak, Masa begins to have second thoughts about going through with the deal. Why does Masa back out of the deal? Meanwhile, Rebecca delves into the creation of Wegro, a school centered around her fundamentals of learning. As she pours money into the venture, Adam grows increasingly irritated, partly because of the pressure on him from Cameron and Bruce from Benchmark Capital. Watching Travis Kalanick, the CEO and co-founder of Uber, getting ousted from his post on the news makes things very real for Adam, especially because Benchmark Capital is also a stakeholder in Uber. Finally, Massa informs Adam that he cannot go through with the deal, and the work CEO's world crashes. Having had a bitter argument with Rebecca over Wegro and her other failed projects, Adam breaks down on the way home from a party while sitting next to his wife. Rebecca, seeing him crying, chooses not to console Adam and merely looks out of the car window. And so, the closing moments of episode 6 bring the first tidings of the titular crash of the company, with SoftBank CEO Masayoshi's son refusing to buy out Wurk's other investors. Thus, Adam is now left at the mercy of Benchmark Capital and other investors and board members of the company, who are quickly growing weary of his unpredictable spending habits. Additionally, Masa backing out of the deal also means that the work board might go ahead with taking the company public, which will open up Adam's financial dealings of the past 10 years to public scrutiny. After egging Adam on to be crazy why does Masa finally back out of the deal? While there is no one particular reason, it is clear that the SoftBank CEO sees multiple red flags in Adam's behavior. Apart from the atrocious spending that Moss's advisors bring to his attention, the SoftBank head is put off by Adam's incessant negotiations under Project Fortitude to retain control of work and also deny Massa from investing in any other real estate businesses. The last straw is when Adam shows up late for the meeting with Al Mubarak, an important SoftBank investor who consequently refuses to go along with Moss's proposal to put more money into WUWRK. Does Adam Newman get removed as CEO of WUWRK? At the end of Episode 6, Adam is still holding on to his position as CEO of WUWRK, but only just. His breakdown in the car is a side of Adam that we haven't seen before and shows just how worried he is, and for a good reason. With Moss's refusal to buy out Work's other investors, Adam is left at the mercy of his current company board members, who support the company going public. Of course, going public also means that Adam's atrocious spending over the last 10 years will come under intense scrutiny. 
While some of the spending and wild office parties look bad, Cameron Lautner reveals even more disturbing details when he tells the board that Adam has been leasing buildings that he owns back to work, which is a clear conflict of interest. Though Adam's subsequent outburst and call for an impromptu vote of confidence narrowly end in the work CEO's favor, it seems like his position is in jeopardy, even more so now that Massa has rejected the offer to buy out work's other investors.